no, Pop's going to be back. I'll be happy to hand it right over to him. <laughs> At this point, yeah, Tim game. Duncan will hand head coaching duties back over to Pop on Spurs game day. Spurs small forward DeMar DeRozan leads the team in scoring this season at 22.2 points per game, and he's doing it with his mid-range jumper. Thanks to analytics, the NBA has undergone radical changes in the way the game is played. The mid-range jumper isn't used as much. Traditional centers are becoming obsolete. Small ball and three-pointers are all the rage. Drive, kick it off for three, it's just the way it is. But DeRozan hasn't changed his style. He's only attempted 33 pointers this season, which is an average of .5 threes per game. That's his game. He's, he's a power player. He's, he's not committed to, to, to shooting the three. Um, he actually shot it pretty well early on in the year for a stretch, um, but he's not committed to that. He's comfortable with playing that in that mid-range and attacking the basket. And uh, yeah, he is our guy. We're going down the stretch. He's the guy we want to go to. Um, and uh, on top of uh, being a mid-range scorer like that, he's an excellent passer. And he's done a great job of uh, uh, breaking a defense down, getting it to the middle, and finding people when he has to. Uh, even with a lot of the guys starting to go underneath, uh, under on him and trying to keep him in front, he's, he's still being effective. All right, let's put DeMar's three-point shooting into perspective here. The Rockets' James Harden leads the NBA with 738 three-point attempts. King's Buddy Heald is next with 601. Damian Lillard is third. Devontae Graham fourth. And the Hawks' Trey Young is fifth with 533. So DeMar ranks 337 out of 513 players this season, which is 33-point attempts. So Harden has fired up 708 more three-pointers than DeMar. That's just crazy. Spurs will play at the Brooklyn Nets tonight at 630. LaMarcus Aldridge is out again with the right shoulder sprain. Marco Bellinelli will sit due to illness and Jakob Pertl, of course, is out with the right MCL sprain. Shooting guard Steph Curry is back after missing the Warriors past 58 games while recovering from a broken left hand, just his fifth game this season. First quarter versus Toronto, Curry passes behind his back to Andrew Wiggins for a layup, a great pass by Curry with his left hand. As you look again, Curry with seven assists last night. Of course, he made three pointers, including this ridiculous one in the second quarter, beating the shot clock. Curry scored 23 points, 27 minutes, making three of his 12 three-point attempts. Warriors fall to the Raptors, though, 121 to 113. Even though DeMar DeRozan is not throwing up threes like James Harden, mm -hmm. his efficiency and his skill level is still there, and he's scoring yeah. over 20 points a yeah. game average. That's pretty good. And the thing is, when no he threes. his last couple of years with Toronto, DeRozan shot over 100 three-pointers per season, so he can do it, but yeah. he's just not. A, he's, you know, mid-range jumper is definitely his strength. That game gets boring after a while. <laughs> it it out, does. Three. It, it does. <laughs> now we know why Pop doesn't like it. Now we know who's not boring. That's right. We know these two are never boring. Well, thank you, David. Let's hope not. You're so sweet. But Never. you know what? I bet a lot of people are doing this right now, especially oh, yeah. kids in Counting school, down. counting down because spring, spring break. break starts, yes, this afternoon. Yes. And now it's also Lent, of course, and a lot of people are going meatless. Yes, I didn't know what I was having today, but I'm so glad that Angie from Poke Planet is here. And what exactly Hi, is afternoon. Poke? Welcome. Poke <laughs> is sushi in a bowl, but today we're going to be talking about some meatless options that we have. And it's nice and fresh, and Colorful. we're going to show you how to make some. And there's also... Secret Secret ingredient. Secret ingredient. To top right off, there. that's very San Antonio, but you gotta wait and watch the show to find out what that is. Yes, indeed. All right, we have got a couple of sweet little pups here. They are looking for good homes. You are gonna meet these two. That's a little puppy. <laughs> you gotta do the yes, puppy voice. <laughs> exactly, you have to do the puppy voice. And speaking of dogs. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, whenever you're in trouble. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol. Yes, get the little ones ready. Make sure they're watching this. We have a sneak peek of Paw Patrol Live. And I'm t I, I hate to warn you this, but you're going to have that song in your head <laughs> the rest of the day. But that's okay, right? It's all for the kids. <laughs> well, it is. Now, you look so lovely in your dress. Thank it is you. National Dress Day. <laughs> and we have got some models here with some beautiful, beautiful looks. And also, we're going to tell you about an event that's going to be coming up for charity with some mm -hmm. gorgeous dresses. Spring fashion, I'm so excited. Uh -huh. Plus, spring break. What are you doing for spring break? We want to know, so let us know. Tag us at SA Live Kids. You know, and the nice thing when you hear about what somebody else is doing, maybe you can. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. Dunkin' Donuts is giving away a free donut with a purchase of any drink every day this month. Ooh, but in order to receive yours, you have to be a DD Perks member. 
You can enroll on the Dunkin' app or on ddperks.com. Dunkin' Donuts also running a contest where four people can win free donuts for a year. Oh, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. And Ooh. that sounds yummy. Dairy Queen, they're celebrating their 80th anniversary by offering a special deal, special deal for its customers. The fast food ice cream shop deal is buy one, get one blizzard for just 80 cents. The deal is set through Sunday, March 15th. You can go to KZ.com and find out what flavors you can get along with the deal. Hopefully it's the Heath Bar. Or Oreo. The Oreo. The Oreo, Oreo is probably the best the most one. popular, I think. Yeah. yeah. This might be the best closing segment we've had in a while. Yeah. Deals and food. I'm all in. There you go. <laughs> Got to eat it fast so it might melt. Well, that's true. Uh, it's not that hot outside. 72. <laughs> Uh, we'll see some pretty good weather today. Uh, a few more clouds tomorrow. Maybe a couple of sprinkles early. We're not uh, too really concerned about that. 67, 70 on Sunday, but some rain chances do kick in next week. 20% chance, uh, maybe a couple of isolated stray showers Tuesday, Wednesday, even into Thursday. Looks good. Weather. Pretty good. Jen did it. She warned us. Yep. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol. That's what we've been thinking. Here we go. <laughs> Paw Patrol <laughs> with SA Live starts right <laughs> now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Hello and happy Friday. We made it to the weekend. What better way to celebrate than getting outdoors with your dogs, maybe adding a furry friend to your home. You're going to meet these cute pups here in just a few minutes. Speaking of the Paw Patrol there, good afternoon, <laughs> happy Friday, happy. It's almost spring break. I'm Mike Osterhage. Yes, I'm Jan Tobias Jeske filling in for Fiona. Speaking of spring break, you know my kids woke up super happy, right? They're oh, like, I don't mom, 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 it's time, it's Friday. <laughs> Next week, no school, woohoo. So we're excited. We want to know what you're doing. You know, what are your big plans? Yeah, a lot of people go away, but a lot of people stick around in town. Mm -hmm. And what I was saying in the, in the tease going into it is like, you always like to find out what there is to do. Cause yes. you know, that's a long you time. Need ideas. For spring break. Yeah, you oh, need yeah. some ideas. They're gonna get bored. Mom, I'm bored. I hear that all the time. So, so. <laughs> let us know so we can share that with everybody. Yes, time to eat, right? Yes, it is going to be a fun-filled, jam-packed show. Let's get straight down to the action. We are cooking and oh. Yes, these oh, dishes, smells good. I mean, look at them. Colorful, delicious, fresh. And if you're like me looking for something to eat on a Friday during Lent, this is the perfect option here. Poke Planet, welcome. Yes, Thank you so Bridges much. Bridges is here to show us exactly what a poke bowl is. You had mentioned that. And once again, in case somebody missed it. Excellent. So by definition, it means sushi in a bowl. That's typically what comes on top of a poke bowl is tuna or salmon or all sorts of different types of fish. But today we're talking about meatless options okay. for Lent. And it originated in? In Hawaii. So there's a lot of wonderful cultures there, Japanese, Korean, and such, and um, yeah, it started in Hawaii. I didn't know that. Okay, so what busy. do we have going here? We have some caramelized onions going right Ooh, there no, with no, some no, uh, toasted sesame oil, and, and this is a soy crumble. This looks like ground looks beef. Like it is beef. not, right? It really does. It is not. So you can about beef. half of that about in there. About half yes, of that's sir. going in there. Okay. And then you're going to take your spoon and just mix it all up. All righty. Mm -hmm. And this is something that you've been passionate about. You said Absolutely. For years. I've been obsessed for about a decade on poke, and we went to California, and and it was just everywhere, and I just decided I needed to bring it back to San Antonio. And so. I love how you're making it San Antonio. We'll add our fun ingredient here That's in a little right. bit. That's right, yes. But, uh, what do we do when we want to start building a bowl while he's cooking? Well, that, that, well as okay. soon as that heats through, you okay. can just take your serving spoon. You can take that or this one right here. Just pile it on top. Okay. Um, we also have some tofu to your right right there that's been marinated. That goes right into the bowl. Okay. So, um, delicious. Now, what's in between the, the soy and the tofu? This is not Absolutely. formed. It's just kind of the it's same also, thing. It's also a soy product, but it's just produced differently. They make a brick okay. out of the soy, and then that's a crumble. Okay. Good, and, yes. and the nice thing about it, too, is you get all the good protein from it like you would Absolutely, meat, right? yes. And there's so many ways mm. to get protein, definitely. And this is one of them. And this is really popular. This goes on our Green Planet mm -hmm. Bowl at mm -hmm. Poke Planet. And you have some interesting options, too. I know our director noticed one of them, too. What was it? Definitely. Pastor? Yes, yeah. we have a beef with al pastor flavors that we make there. We use a brisket and we slow cook it, cool. and it's okay. very, very good. So if fish isn't your jam, we have chicken, we have shrimp, we have soy, we have um, soy products, obviously, all these wonderful toppings. Make yourself a bowl, definitely. Yes. Don't be shy. Okay. Grab some more stuff. 
Also, the little crunchies over here that go on top. Yes, what, what are that's, all these? That, the crunchies. We have about seven different crunchies, but we have a crispy onion, a crispy jalapeno, pumpkin seeds, green onions, and to your right is something called furikake, which is seaweed and sesame and sea salt, and it's delicious in your bowl. Oh, interesting. Highly recommended, but we also have 11 sauces. We only have four of them here, but 11. all of our sauces, yes, are made in-house. They're all gluten-free and MSG-free. So just sprinkle a little bit of yes, that Yes, sir, right but you definitely right need some sauce. You want some creamy cilantro maybe for this one? Sure, that sounds Can good. Can I Oh, rice? yeah, I'm sorry. You mentioned how good this is on rice, right? It's Why is that? It's super delicious. Well, I just has it? a real savory quality to it, and it's absolutely just it's very hot. tasty. Oh. <laughs> um, and this is traditionally served, and these bowls are... Uh, they're, they're actually rice-based. Rice. You can't really see the rice underneath there, but we also have, besides mm -hmm. white rice, we have brown rice, we have quinoa, and we have zoodles, spinach. Do you see some spinach there to your right? And our ingredient for San Antonio. And our special San Antonio right nod is <laughs> hot Cheetos. Right. You can't go wrong with hot Cheetos. No, that is definitely. San Put them yes. on your bowl. And have the other thing, even though the, um, the oh, ground no. beef, the ground soy, pardon me, and onions were heated up, this is traditionally served cold. Everything is it cold. It is traditionally right? served cold, yes, off the line. Yes, sir. Okay. And you have to use chopsticks. Can you tell me the best way? Because uh, I make it fun of you earlier, but I <laughs> Well, don't I tried know. teaching you earlier, but you. <laughs> Okay. There you go. Like go that? in and just pinch right down okay. in there. Don't be shy. Oh wow, that's you might that want to is grab tasty. your bowl. Okay, okay. And what is your favorite thing on the menu? So my favorite thing would probably be the shrimp and chicken. I like the shrimp and chicken besides the mm. seafood, of course. I'm going to show y'all a quick trip. Take your uh -huh. uh, chopsticks, stick them in the middle. Okay. Give them a little bit of a roll right there. My brother taught me this technique, and look, everything kind of falls into the middle, and it makes it easy for oh. you to eat. Ah. Like you start getting a bite of everything, which is what good, you want to do. <laughs> and you do catering as well? We do some catering. You can just give us a call. We'll. And, absolutely entertain anything. Now you're so, located out there in the medical center and yes, sir, you can either Pester. buy one of the, pick up one of the bowls that you have created. A or signature just bowl. Pick and, and choose. A la or carte just go down the right? line and build your own. We call it your planet at Planet. Ooh, at Poké like Planet. That. Your yes. Planet. Okay. You'll see it's very and, tasty. And you can go online and order and then just swing right in there and pick swing it up. Swing right? right on in. We'll have it ready Ooh, for you. That's, good. Good. that's the busiest side of town. That's Thank right. you so much, Angie, for so more information. Thank on Poke you. Planet, just go to salive.com and click the As Seen on SA Live tab. Very tasty. Thanks, guys. Well, parents and kids, get ready. The Hero Pups from Paw Patrol are here in San Antonio, and they've jumped off the big screen and right onto the stage for a live show you have to see. We are about to get a sneak peek, but first. Yes, Maya Richardson with Paw Patrol Live. <laughs> so happy to have you here with yes. us. So exciting, this show for the little ones. Mm -hmm. So are all the characters going to be yes. involved? So everybody's favorite pups are gonna be here, like Chase and Skye and Marshall and Ryder. Yeah. So what's the story all about? So it is the day of the Great Adventure Bay race, and we need to help Mayor Goodway run the race. So all the pups get together and we help her try and win. And the show you said you're gonna encourage kids to get, you can yes. get out of your seats and have fun. Yes, you do not have to stay sitting, you do not have to be quiet. We want you to come up and dance and sing with us. And it's yeah. just the perfect amount of time for little kids, right? Yes. How long's the show? Yes, so it's an hour long with a 15 minute intermission in the middle. So you That's can go perfect. get snacks, yeah. Yeah, because sometimes they don't stay too long. Yeah. <laughs> So it's a great, a great amount of time for kids. And then besides dancing during the show, you get a chance to meet some of the pups afterwards, yes. right? Yes, so we have a VIP experience where you can come meet Ryder and Chase and Skye. And wow. what can kids learn from the pups? So we can learn about teamwork, friendship, sticking together, and not giving up. Sounds like a good time, right? Yes, All right. Well, Paw Patrol Live has performances tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday, and you can get tickets at pawpatrollive.com. But right now, Ryder and Chase are here to get their great adventure started. I'm so excited. It's Paw Patrol to the rescue. <laughs> No time to delay. Rock, rock, rescue. We gotta save the day. I'll give it my all, no matter how tough. Whenever the going gets rough. Rock, 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 rescue. No time to delay. Rock, rock, rescue. We gotta save the day. We're the Paw Patrol. Whenever we hear a yelp, we're there to help. Are you ready, Chase? Right away, writer, sir. Chase is on the case. <laughs> <laughs> Rough, rough rescue, we did it, hooray! Rough, rough rescue, we finally saved the day! Working together, yeah, that's the stuff! Whenever the going gets rough! Rough, rough, rough rescue, we did it, hooray! Rough, rough rescue, we finally saved the day! 
Oh, that looks like a lot of fun. Paw Patrol has live performances tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. You can get tickets at TobinCenter.org or PawPatrolLive.com. But right now, Ryder and Chase are here, and we had the rescue going on there. Who yes. are these? Yes, from dogs that rescue to these rescue dogs. Debbie, Dav Debbie Davis from God's Dogs is here, and you brought two sweet friends that need a forever home. We We're going to start with Munchkin, and Mike <laughs> has Princess over there. Yep. Pretty big one over there. Taking him for a walk. How did you get Munchkin? Munchkin was at the Laredo Animal Shelter, and um, we pull quite often from there. We've got some connections there, and he hey, just would look like a sweetheart, was a good fit, and so we took yeah. him. So he's been just with us a little short time. He came in with a little battle wound, but he gets along with everybody. He's very social, very happy. Um, he's a Chihuahua. Uh, Jack Russell mix. And great, great <laughs> with other dogs. Yeah, good with other dogs, um, good with kids, loves, you know, his people. He'd be a great apartment size dog. Yeah. You know, regular activities. He'd Come be, on, he's shy. just a neat little size dog, super friendly and loves everybody. Not a big barker. I know with the no, smaller dogs. Yeah, really, no, like... he's really not. Um, he's very, very social, which is, you know, well, it makes it for a good dog to go out and do a lot of things, especially with downtown San Antonio. He's since getting everything's my heart so dog right friendly. Yeah, he's a super <laughs> sweet baby. So, treatment he's undergoing right now, but is he He's finishing his Heartworm okay. treatment, okay. yeah, and then he is available. We will finish that for him. He was heartworm positive, which most of the dogs we rescue in San Antonio are. And now he saw food. <laughs> Smells the food. <laughs> yeah. and, and, uh, but he's very sweet. This big baby over here, and let me tell you, she <laughs> is big. Who, this is Princess? This is Princess P. And she's about a year and a half old. She was found running down 35. She's very, very sweet. She's still learning her size. Yeah. She gets along with everybody. She's be great with kids, probably a little bit bigger kids, a little bit sturdier kids. Just because she is powerful. She'll run you down. Yeah, I mean, and, and just not, wanting to love you. Yeah, yep. and yep. boy, tennis ball in the backyard oh, and kids. Yeah, yeah. So she'd be great. Great Dane, Golden Retriever, and you said maybe Greyhound? Maybe a little Greyhound in there, but definitely Great Dane. You can see it in her leg build or structure and definitely Golden, the personality. So it's a really great mix. Yeah, if you want a good uh, jogging partner, like ah. I said, somebody to play with the kids in the backyard, yep. Yep. that's going to be and fantastic. You said she doesn't realize her size either. No, she's she does puppy. not. She is. She's still very puppy. Always looking for people to obviously <laughs> adopt, but... If people want to help out, what can they do? Uh, the, we're always looking for fosters. Fosters is how we function. Um, having the dogs in your homes, getting them ready for their new homes. But then if you can't do that, you can educate, you can donate. You can donate your household goods. We're always looking for towels and sheets and bedding. There's always a yes. way. Then. Always. I like on the back of your always. shirt, you have I mean, it all. If you don't mind turning yes, around, and we get a <laughs> shout of this. Adopt if you can't adopt, yes. foster if you can't foster, volunteer if you can't volunteer, donate. And if you can't donate, educate. And this dog, let me tell you, she is strong and powerful. And, and, and Munchkin saw the information. food. Munchkin, I feel like you. I'm hungry. And God's <laughs> Dogs Rescue. I'm just going to let her lick the yes. floor because she pulled me down. All right. Go she to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you so very much. Hey, still ahead on SA Live, take out a little aggression and burn some calories where you can kick and punch your way to a healthier life. But first, the seasons are starting to change, so you should change that wardrobe. I'm excited about spring fashion. We have some looks for you to try from Bernie. That's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if you're looking for the latest fashions, there's a big style and shopping event happening soon, and it's just up the road in Bernie. Yes, Ashley Ermis, the manager at Jolie Boutique, is here, and we're going to talk about the show, but we're also yes. going to show off some beautiful new looks Absolutely. for the spring, right? Yes, thanks for having me back. And, and the pop of color, color right here. Uh, yes. The first one we'll start Super with really fun. quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, this is um, just one of our new um, designers, Joseph Ripkoff. Super flirty. Um, spring is all about flirty and fun and sleeves and you'll see lots of ruffles and the accordion fold chiffon and Very just really pretty. fun. And all it. about dresses. Yes, yes. And in all different shapes and sizes. Absolutely. Right? So today is National Dress Day actually. Mm -hmm. So Jen, you're doing wonderful. <laughs> I love I didn't it. Even know. So yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so dresses, you know, trends are all short, cocktail length, tea mm -hmm. length. Very flirty, fun, maxi dresses, lightweight for Texas weather. And our so. first dress? Yes, yeah, so Miss Rhea, she is wearing um, another new designer for us, Tyler Bow. So this is a great maxi dress um, to wear for brunch, baby showers, um, day out with the girls shopping in Bernie, just all sorts of fun. We've paired it with a cute little pop of color hand beaded bag. 
Um, we love this length just because it's still very flirty. It's got that flirty ruffle too, mm -hmm. and just but still very lightweight and doesn't cling to you in the Texas heat. So. It, yeah, I was gonna say it like looks that. like it would be good for the for this weather, and you could also do that dress with flats. Too. Yeah, like so you could do that. this dress with a sandal, or we've paired it with a little heel as well. So just kind of dress it up or dress it down. Is there anybody uh, or any certain basic rule if somebody's looking for the perfect dress that they should go by? Not really, just more of what's comfortable for you mm -hmm. and just what best fits your body style. So, I mean, you've Everybody got, has their different Everyone styles. has their right, different styles. Right. I know a lot of my ladies who shop with us, they love sleeves, and so sleeves are a big deal for us. Mm -hmm. um, but we also just want something very comfortable and lightweight to kind of match the climate that we're in as and well. And the layering, look at our yes. next model, I noticed we have a different layer Yes, so well. August, she is wearing um, our number one selling uh, dress style in our store, um, our cha-cha dresses. So this is a super fun, um, just great and very flattering body uh, dress style. Um, we've paired it uh, to go kind of back from work to play so we can transition to the evening as well with a cute lightweight jacket. Add a pop of funk with a little cheetah print purse as well. Cute. Again, you can pair this with a little ballet flat or kind of sex it up a little and put a little heel with it. And that it, would so. be something to wear to work too? Absolutely, okay. you could definitely wear this to work. Um, you could change it to a, more of a blazer style jacket as well, mm -hmm. so just kind of make it a little more professional. All right, the big event that's gonna be coming up in a couple of weeks, and this is the Bernie Retailer Style Show and Shopping mm -hmm. event. Yeah, so this is the second annual style show and shopping event that we're hosting at the Bevy Hotel um, on March 21st. We are going to have 15 retailers participating, um, we'll have a cocktail hour with all sorts of pop-up shops and everything, and then as well transition into the runway, um, where we'll have eight retailers from the Bernie area showing off their favorite spring fashions, but all while raising money for an amazing cause, the Kendall County Women's Shelter. Okay. Wow. And last but not least. Yes, so last but not least, Miss Rochelle, she is wearing one of my favorite date night looks. So this is um, a very couture designer. Um, Byron Lars, just super, again, super flirty and lightweight for Texas climate. Um, I love the red. It's very bold and just kind of super fun. Too. I do too. Um, I love it most too because it's got a very sexy back as well. So it's a little sheer back Ooh. with a fun lace button detail and the cute little bow. And I can even so see that fun. with cowboy boots. Like yeah, you to yeah, you can definitely wear this to like rodeo <laughs> or something, you know, which is very fun. Um, but or even to a fine cocktail party right. as well. So we've paired it with a hand beaded purse that's a very martini glass. Yes. Um, super fun. But and the length is, is good for yeah. March because you never know if it's going to be cold Absolutely. or hotter. And... Absolutely. Okay. okay. Yeah. And again, the big event that's going to be coming up in a couple of weeks, it is the, if you want to see all these styles and a lot more, the Bernie Retailer Style Show and Shopping Event is happening Saturday, March 21st at 6 p.m. at the New Bevy Hotel in Bernie. There's going to be tons mm -hmm. of shopping, food, drinks. It's all to benefit the Kendall County Women's Shelter. And for more information, go to our website, salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Still ahead on as they live, there's a big push this month to battle hunger in the Alamo City. Why collecting donations has never been more fun, and how the local food bank has found some new ways to feed families. And next, a new smile can do a lot more than just give you better pictures. How a trip to the dentist's office can transform your life. That's straight ahead on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, taking care of those pearly whites can change your life, but it's not just about dental health, it's about confidence too. Dr. Alfonso Morales with Stone Ridge Dental here to tell me how you're changing lives. But let's start with the smile. Why is it important to have that good smile? Well, you know, the smile is a very important part of everyone in their lives. You know, people that smile look happier, healthier, younger, smarter. And there's a lot of people that stop smiling because their teeth don't look very good, or they have cavities or gum disease, or they're missing a few, or they don't have any teeth. So when they stop smiling, you know, everything changes around them. They hold back, their self-esteem goes down, they don't want to go to places, and it really changes somebody's life. I want everyone to know that there's a lot of things that can be done. People don't have to live their lives hoping mm -hmm. and suffering. You know, we can help, and there's a million things that they can do in dentistry nowadays to get the smile they want. Well, I feel like we even take that for granted, just to be able to mm. smile. So this full mouth reconstruction is what you are specializing in. So tell me a little bit about That's that. That's correct. Mm -hmm. You know, I specialize in seeing those people that, that have no hope, 
that mm -hmm. they have been heard, you know, no, nothing can be done for you. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we, we replace our teeth with dental implants. It can be done in a very effective, predictable way. Mm -hmm. Patients come to our office, we have a lot of good technology, they get sedated, so you know they're sleeping, and by the end of the day, they wake up and they have a beautiful smile because it's like having a blank canvas. Yes. You know, we redesign every tooth, the size, the position, the alignment, so mm -hmm. it's, it's like recreating somebody's life again, and, and the stories we have are amazing. Well, you have a photo here that we can see, and you can tell me a little bit about that. So here's the That's photo. correct. That's mm -hmm. a great example of one of our patients that, if you can see, the teeth are extremely worn down. So there's really nothing left to do there. There's nothing to fix. And we replace his teeth with dental implants. Now he can, he can eat, he can smile, and he has a wonderful self-esteem. And this other lady, believe it or not, I mean, she's biting down, but her bite was, was really, you know, uh, troubled. And, and look at what we did with wow. the replacement of her teeth with dental implants. So can wow. you imagine how she is right now? Amazing. amazing. Wow. And you have your lovely wife who helps right. with this transformation. Yesenia, Mike is over there with her to talk about how they get this all done. Wow. Right. So it, this is more than just uh, false teeth because you have to really personalize these, right? Yes, correct. Smiles are very unique, and this is why we custom design every smile we create for our patients to perfectly complement their facial features, their age, gender, and also their personality. Um, with this information and also the help of amazing technology, which is um, face 3D scans, we design and create the smiles. But it's not as though that information is being sent off to some lab somewhere. No. You are doing, you're basically do, holding their hand through the whole thing, right? We do everything in-house. We also hand paint the smiles mm -hmm. to achieve a more beautiful and unique look. What's the feeling that you get when somebody that has not had good teeth or any teeth at all, all of a sudden they have that smile, that, that smiles back, their life's back to them? It is very re rewarding because not only you're changing their smile, you're changing their, their entire life. And it, it is very important that both um, the art and the science come together so you can have a balanced harmony and a beautiful natural smile that is going to give you the perfect picture look, uh, which is a confidence okay. and a beautiful smile with, with health and beauty. Thank you, Yesenia. And you've got a, a very good special going on right now. The first 20 people to call are going to be getting a free consultation valued at $350. Just call Stone Ridge Dental at 210-610-5479. That's 210-610-5479. And for more information on Dr. Menaris, visit his website, Dr. Menaris. Com. Thank you both very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. All right. Still ahead on SA Live, big savings at Star Furniture just in time for spring cleaning season. We'll tell you how much you can save a little bit later on in the show. And next on the show, jab, uppercut, sidekick two. We're trying the ultimate cardio workout after the break on this Fit Friday. Stay right here on SA Live. kickstart a workout routine. How about one that's anything but boring? How about kickboxing? We are here at I Love Kickboxing in Stone Oak and joining me is studio manager Jade McDaniel. All right, thank you so much for letting me come on in here. Thank now, you. For someone who may not have a kickboxing background, you have classes for every level, right? We do, it's gonna be multi-level. So whether you've worked out consistently every day for your life or if you haven't worked out in years, you know, we have something for you. We can modify the exercise to be whatever you need it to be. Uh, we're gonna start off with what's called a jab cross. We're gonna be in that fighter stance with the left foot forward. Elbows are down on the rib cage and the palms are facing each other, making sure to keep that guard up. So from here, you're gonna work just that left hand punch and you're gonna bring it right back. Out and right back, out and back. Now, after you do the left, the left hand punch, you're gonna go with that right hand immediately after. So you're gonna go left and right, and then you're gonna reset those hands back to your chin. Ready, and go. The arms are warm, and we're gonna integrate some of that kickboxing now. So now you're gonna go jab cross, and you're gonna bring that left knee up, and you're gonna do a front kick on the bag, making sure to touch with just the ball of the foot, and you're gonna reset that stance. So jab, cross, cross and front, front kick. Perfect, okay. and do it again. Okay. Very nice. And you're gonna thrust those hips forward as you do that front okay. kick and really try to move that back. Like Ready? Stomp. That's right. You're kicking the door down. Goodness gracious. 
All right, Fiona, so we're gonna integrate the roundhouse into this round now, so it's gonna look like this. Whoa, Ready? Oh, okay. Your turn. <laughs> so it's basically everything I just did just with a roundhouse yes, at the end. Yes, we're gonna add that roundhouse in there. Now, the important thing about that roundhouse is you're gonna make sure to step off to the side with your left foot, and you're gonna strike the bag with the lower part of your shin. So it's gonna be hitting with this mm -hmm. part right here, and it's gonna go horizontal on the bag, and you're gonna come right back to your fighter stance. All right, so. Jab cross. Jab cross. Left front kick. Front kick. Step Down. out, right roundhouse. Looks like my work here is done. <laughs> All right, and here's your advanced move for the day, Fiona. So we have what's called a spinning back fist. So we're gonna add on to what you've already learned so far. You're gonna do that roundhouse. From there, you're gonna take your left foot. You're gonna step to about two o'clock with the left. You're gonna turn and strike with the back of your fist with the thumb up on that bag. Yeah, Front kick, roundhouse, and boom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you got it. So how many calories did I burn? Because I'm telling you, that felt like a like 180,000. I don't know, maybe we're close to that, maybe not. So <laughs> typically women are gonna burn between 400 and 700 calories per class. Guys, just because of the way our bodies are structured, we'll burn between 800 to 1,000. I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> and then up here, we actually have a heart rate monitor screen, which is gonna show your calories in real time and show just how hard you're working. Oh, I love that, I love that you can see that so you can so see you can where you're at. Push harder next time. You can you see want. the fat burning process as it happens. Yes. All right. Tell folks how to find you. So you can go to ilovekickboxing.com and come check it out for yourself. See what we do here. Yes. And for more information on I Love Kickboxing Stone Oak, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Next on SA Live, Hey, there's more to feeding families than just collecting donations. The San Antonio Food Bank is giving us some ideas in the kitchen while giving skills to hungry families. That's coming up. Welcome back to SA Live. The San Antonio Food Bank is all about stamping out hunger and feeding families. So it makes sense that they have a nice culinary program. I have Chef Kelly Dotty here with me to show a fun and healthy recipe, very colorful, but also to talk about volunteer opportunities, the classes that you have, Absolutely. all the good stuff. So what are we making? Today we're going to make a easy Thai noodle salad because mm. what we want to represent, especially on Friday and with Lent, is how easy it is to get a rainbow of colors in your diet and the importance of having a healthy heart and diet. Diet. So what we've got here are some rice noodles. Okay. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get yeah. started on That's this good. side. These are really neat. <laughs> uh, <that's, laughs> long fingers, fun fingers. So I'm going to go ahead and put some rice noodles in. And this is what you find in pad thai, right? The same Absolutely. Kind of and it's gluten free. Mm -hmm. If uh, you have any type of sensitivity, I have some Napa cabbage right okay. here. And so when I'm going through and doing this, what we want to represent is about 50-50, right? We don't need to actually have a big, heavy pasta dish. What we can have is 50% vegetables, 50% starches. Okay, so we've added some fresh noodles, the cabbage, the... Mm -hmm. the the peanuts. The there. peanuts, mm -hmm. some fresh herbs, and then we can have an array of vegetables, carrots, red onion, cucumbers, radishes, edamame for your protein. All right, and it's it's so much more than just donations. Let's talk about the classes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We have our nutrition, health, and wellness uh, department where we go out into the community and with kids, seniors, as well as any at-risk population, we will come to you. We have registered dietitians as well as chefs, mm -hmm. and we will come and teach Viva Bien, Living Well with Diabetes, mm -hmm. as well as eating right when the money's tight. Just go to safoodbank.org, and it'll show an assortment of classes. 
And like we said, donations are huge, but this month in particular, you have some donations. Mike's over there, and we're gonna hear more about that and why it's really important in March. Yes, indeed. One of the groups behind this month-long food drive is Holscher, Gebbia, and Cepeda Law Firm, and Joe Holscher is here to tell us about all the events coming up, and you're gonna do some karaoke, or dariyoke, as we dariyoke, say. Dariyoke, okay. unfortunately for me. And this is all to raise money and to get donations for the food bank. You're kind of challenging the legal community, right? We are, we are opening a challenge to the legal community. It's not too late to get involved with the Food for the Bar program, um, in which law firms will compete with each other to see who can help end hunger for Texas children, San Antonio children. Uh, there's awards, and unless you're chicken, uh, Holster <laughs> Gebbia Cepeda, we invite you to come help the SA Food Bank. <laughs> and you're gonna be picking, for money will buy the song that he will sing. So there's also the event coming up, the Stuff the Truck, right? Stuff the Truck, we're going to bring a truck. Or fill the truck, uh, I Fill the say. truck to different locations and ask other organizations that haven't joined the Food for the Bar program to help us fill the truck on that day. Um, in particular, down at the courthouse so that everyone has an opportunity to contribute to helping San Antonio kids. Very quickly, why do you get involved with the food bank? So Holscher Gebbia Cepeda is a child welfare law firm and we know what it is from our clients to see hungry kids. We mm -hmm. know what it is for their parents to be worried about how they're going to feed their kids. And when we realize that one in four kids in San Antonio faces hunger, um, and the food bank for one dollar can provide seven meals and feeds 58,000 people each week. And what is we it, 98% of the money? 98% of okay. the money that goes to SA Food Bank goes directly to help people. Fantastic organization. Thank you very much. It's Good our luck pleasure. with the singing. And again, thank you for the fight against, uh, your fight against the hunger. And let's hope for record amounts of donations. How is that dish coming along, Jen? Yes, it is delicious. I have a little bit over here for you, Mike, so you can come tr try that. And for more information on the San Antonio Food Bank, please go to salive.com. Click the As Seen on SA Live tab. Now we're going to dig in. Thank you so okay. much, Jeff. And thank you for all you do. Thank you. Next on SA Live, Ooh. does spring cleaning have you noticing you might need some new furniture? Now is the time to buy. We're at Star Furniture checking out some of the amazing deals. That's coming up. Stay with us. Hey guys, it's David Elder and Daylight Savings is upon us. That means spring is coming. That means you need to do some spring cleaning. Got to get rid of the old furniture and get some new stuff. And that's why we're here today at Star Furniture. With me right here is Brian Groby, General Manager. How's it going? It's going great, David. How are you? I'm doing great. And you're here. You have a Daylight Savings special going on and it's going to be great for everyone looking to upgrade that look for the new year. That's exactly it. People are doing spring cleaning and not only are we having Daylight Savings time, but we're, it's time to save on some furniture as well. Now, what kind of savings can people expect when they come out here? So right now we're offering 20% off of the hall furniture, home accents, rugs, accessories uh, off the entire store. And we have some amazing specials on our mattress department as well. And to top it off, we're offering free delivery with a minimum purchase. Free delivery with a minimum purchase, 20% off of furniture, home accents all across the store. That's a great deal. It is. So that means that you come in here, and I know, I, know I do it all the time, but I just gotta make sure, like, all these things. The furniture behind us, that's 20% off. That's 20% off. And over here, it's 20% off. 20% off. <laughs> That's it's it's good. good. It's, it's good. good. I just got to yeah. make sure. I just got to make sure. That's okay. Now, you said the mattress department, you guys always have incredible deals going on down there, and that includes an adjustable base upgrade. That is it. We've got a, a phenomenal deal in our mattress department. So one of the things that we've done, we worked really hard at trying to create the most comfortable environment to shop for mattress. Shopping for a mattress, well, number one, sleep is important. It's critically important. It's important for your health, for your well-being. Um, so many things are tied to good sleep, and so we, we wanted to create an environment where it was really easy to come in and buy a mattress. And so we've done that. We've, it's, a, it's, just a, it's just a really super easy process, very comfortable. And then we've got some great deals to go along with that. So we're offering a free base upgrade with minimum purchase. Um, you get free delivery and just so many things that we're offering. And you have to come see our new mattress show. When you spring forward, you're gonna lose an hour of sleep. It's just gonna happen. So mines will make that time that you do have the most comfortable sleep possible, right? That's right. So make sure you come down there. You gotta check out the mattresses. They have 20% off of select furniture and home accessories, things like that all across the store. Star Furniture is the place to be. And how long is the sale going to? It's going until the 10th. And we want people to come up. We know you mentioned spring cleaning, right? So people are doing that. People are going through kind of getting ready for spring, getting ready for, for the things to come. And so when you're doing that, 
and you're looking for that perfect piece to fit that room or an entire room, we're, we've got a, I've got an incredible team that's ready to take care of the guests when they come in to help them just complete that room or to start from scratch and just build a whole new room. There you go. A whole new room. That just works with that. Okay, you guys got to come out here. Star Furniture right off of I-10, exit days of all. Do the turnaround if you're heading northbound. And you can come out here. You're going to get sales reps just like Brian out here. Anybody on the floor that's going to help you out. They're going to hook you up with a great deal. 20% off of all the furniture that's in here, home accessories, and over there in the mattress department as well. Get that free base upgrade. Sleep like you need to. Royalty, right? right. Royalty. There you go. And to get more information, of course, you can call 210-558-7800. That's 210-558-7800. Or go to starfurniture.com. Daylight savings is important. It is. And you got to save when you're shopping, too. Might as well do both. <laughs> hey, coming up Monday on SA Live, we are going to spy school. We're going to turn into super sleuths. Ooh, fun. And find out all the clues and everything <laughs> like that. We're going to let you know how your kids can join in on the fun. Plus, it's a taste of the Big Easy right here in Market Square. We have a Louisiana chef coming to show Ooh. us the secrets behind the authentic catfish po boy. I'm excited about that. Ooh. Now, that's Monday at 1, but tomorrow on Texas Eats, David Elder will take us along the Texas coast for some seafood food. Mm, I'm excited. I'm hungry. <laughs> That sauce is amazing. I'm over here like dripping on myself. Yeah, it's a French Cajun sauce, very creamy. Got a lot of stuff into it. <laughs> I'm like, how do you use napkins when you got gloves on? You know what I mean? Like, how does that happen? That's my invention too. Absolutely incredible sauce. Mm -hmm. It's buttery, but it also has a really nice spice to it, and it's creamy as well. So it also has a lot of body. It's a little bit thicker than a traditional butter sauce. Look at that. It comes right off the bone like that. Right into the sauce. It's amazing. Oh my goodness. Yes, sir. The crunch that you got on the outside, the texture. Mm. Y'all know what you're doing. It's a grill snapper. We're trying. Oh. And now for the m most famous for this season, you twist. Suck the head, you got the tails. And this sauce on the side is always good for you, so. Vacation. Okay, there's plenty to do here in town. That's all right. There is, and that can be the most relaxing at times as well. How about some other great ideas for spring break? Going camping. Uh, you know, the weather seems thing. perfect for camping. It's not too hot yet. That's right. a good idea, Leslie. I like that. Nikki says, I have to work. Oh, sad face. Okay, well, let's just make the best of that. You know, smile. <laughs> And staycation at home with lots of sleep, just hanging around, doing nothing. And again, that can be kind of the most relaxing. But don't forget to uh, you know, look around town because there is so much going on around there. And maybe you'd like a new friend. Yes, God's don't Dogs Rescue. Don't forget about God's Dog Rescue. There's so many rescues here in town. So if you're looking for one of those cute little cuddly friends with that need a forever home, there's plenty. I'm so glad that we started doing this on Fridays because... They said, well, how many dogs did she say? Like 300? I mean, there's just so many, and they and all need a home. if you can't adopt, maybe you can foster, yes. maybe you can donate, you can help out. They can always use a lot of help. Yes. If you are heading out for spring break, and again, kids, the countdown to hell almost has begun. It's almost spring break time. Nice weather, right, Mike? Make sure it's a safe <laughs> spring break. Have a great weekend, everybody.